Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a BB cream review. I'm so excited to be doing these again because I love doing them on my beauty channel and now that I've combined channels I'm going to be doing them here and they're just my favorite thing to review. I'll actually leave a whole playlist down below of all the BB creams I've tried out because there have been a ton. So I'm going to show you how this applies on my face and how it wears throughout the day and I'm going to start off by just telling you a little bit about it. So the one I'm going to be reviewing today is the Physicians Formula Super BB Beauty Balm BB Cream Hashtag InstaReady. It has a long, long title. I actually picked this up in my iHerb, call, iHerb haul. If you didn't see that, I'll leave it linked down below as well. But this is what it looks like right here in its packaging. All right, so just reading from the Physicians Formula website, it retails for $18.99 on the website. I think you can find it cheaper in stores. Um, for shades, there's only light and light medium, which I think is really bizarre. That's what it's showing here, at least. It's 1.2 fluid ounces. I have light to medium, I believe, so I don't know how it's going to be match-wise for me. It says it's hypoallergenic, paraben-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, and dermologic, dermatologist approved. And then really quick on the packaging here, it has a lot of claims. It says the benefits are perfecting, smoothing, protecting, hydrating, priming, line softening, pore minimizing, shine minimizing, oil control, blurring, and light diffusing. And as far as directions, it's telling you just to use your fingertips to apply all over the face and neck and shake it up a bit. So I'm just going to get started. All right, so when I'm squeezing it out, it's actually a lot thicker than I thought it would be. That's the texture there. As you can see, it's totally holding its shape. So I'm just going to start with this amount here. It feels more like a foundation, I have to say, off the bat than a BB cream. Let's see how this goes on. Color-wise, it's not bad because right now my face is a lot paler than the rest of my body, so I don't mind that it's too dark because I think it's going to blend with my neck quite well. Um, it feels, it still feels kind of thick going on, not going to lie, but it's smoothing in very, very nicely. It feels very kind of soft and smooth. Coverage-wise, it did quite well. I mean, you saw the amount I used and I just did from like here down and... Um, I'm pretty impressed so far. I really do like, I'm going to take a bit more from my forehead, I really do like a um, BB cream that has good coverage because, I don't know, for me it's just like replacing a foundation and if the BB cream's really, really sheer and I still feel like I have to add a whole bunch of coverage, then it's not worth it to me. Everybody has different preferences when it comes to BB creams and face products, but I do like a pretty good coverage out of a BB cream, so, so far I'm pretty impressed by this. All right. So there's one layer there, and to be honest, I don't think I need to add any more. Usually with BB creams, I add a little bit more just where like redness is peeking through, um, or the coverage is a bit light, but I'm pretty impressed with this. That did really well. I just had to make sure to push it into my hairline since it was different than the actual shade of my skin, but as you can see, it's matching the rest of me quite nicely. Um, as far as feel, it definitely hasn't dried yet. Like I still feel like I can move it around a little bit, but um, at the same time, it, it has sunk into my skin. I don't feel like I can, you know, make patches on my face. So it feels pretty good. I'm curious how it dries down. I'm going to go ahead and put on concealer and the rest of my makeup and show you what it looks like. All right, so the rest of my makeup went on really well. I put on concealer. I did put some powder on top like I normally do. But I think it looks really nice, almost kind of airbrushed in a way. I don't know. The coverage is really nice. The finish is... It's definitely more on the matte side, but it's not a flat matte. I'm not wearing any highlighter right now, but I'm still kind of glowy in the cheeks. I don't know what that's about. So I really like the way it looks right now. It is currently 11.04 a.m. And I'll come back later in the day and show you how it held up. All right, so it's now 3.50. So it has been on for about five hours or so. And honestly, I mean, I took a nap. I should mention that. So my mascara is like running down, but I took a pretty hard nap and... Just looking in the mirror here, it's not shiny at all. That's the first thing I've noticed. And usually a lot of BB creams will get quite shiny on me and it looks exactly the same way it did before. It's not breaking up around my nose. It almost looks a bit dry on my chin and I don't have dry skin, but you know what? I'll take, there's mascara. I'll take dryness over oiliness every day. The coverage is still really, really good. Blush and bronzer, bronzer is still on. So five hours in, it looks pretty much the same it did before. So I'm gonna check in one more time before I go to bed. All right, so it's now 7.25. This is going to be my last check in today. I'm looking quite disheveled, but my baby loves to claw at my face. It's her new thing. She likes to pinch and she likes to scratch. And honestly, looking in my mirror here, it's held up so well. I haven't powdered it all the whole day. I was not wearing a primer. It is 
not shiny to me like in the least which is crazy it started to rub off now but I mean I've had excessive scratching of the face the only thing I'm noticing is that I have like dry patches in this area here and I don't normally have dry skin so it's like clinging to the random bits of dry that I do have so maybe if you had dry skin this wouldn't be the greatest for you but I'm honestly impressed I didn't think I would like it I think I've tried something from Physicians Formula BB cream wise a while back and I didn't like it at all so I didn't have high hopes and this really really impressed me I'm gonna mix it with other BB creams as well and foundations because I love doing that so yeah I think it's definitely worth checking out if you have any questions let me know and thank you so much for watching bye